We are still on the move, but the moving around has changed. You are seeing more bikes. The big drop in transit ridership could mean even more changes ahead. The agency could borrow money, but there's also talk of layoffs, fare increases, and service cuts. I feel like as long as I feel safe, I'm fine. Yeah. And I'll just adjust my schedule. It's the New York way, bro. This week's travel data from the MTA and city paint a picture. Ridership remains down on the buses and subways. Railroad officials have been surprised. The railroads have remained low. Vehicle travel on East River bridges is nearly back to normal. More traffic through some tunnels and bridges does mean toll revenue for the MTA. But what would potential cuts look like? Could routes end, lines or stations close? Uh, the horrible term service reduction uh, is uh, a reduction in service. That's not something that we want to contemplate, but the fiscal uh, tsunami that we're facing is measured in billions of dollars. At this week's July board meeting, we learned the budget is down billions for years to come. They'll continue to look for areas to cut. Riders have already had to adjust to change, such as the overnight subway closure for deep cleaning from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. More buses have been added overnight, but tougher decisions may be coming. Charlton D'Souza is an overnight rider and transit advocate. Having the Long Island Railroad cross on a, at all Zone 3 stations overnight from at least 1230 to about 5 a.m. So many people are being impacted.